Hey everybody, it's Megan. As always, I hope all of you are doing well. Today I received a package that I must say what I saw inside far exceeded my expectations and I thought to myself, I need to make a video and show you guys how wonderful this bag is. Also, a few days ago, I did receive something that I would consider maybe perhaps Louis Vuitton's best unicorn bag. And really, I have not seen any reviews, any unboxings on this piece. So I think it'll be a little bit hard to guess, but I will give you a hint. It's a new release item and I'm very, very excited about it. Before we get into it, in case any of you guys might be interested, the earrings that I'm wearing today, these are the Versace logo drop-down earrings. I'm very interested in the Fendi logo drop-down earrings at the moment as well, but these ones are absolutely wonderful. And the bracelet I'm wearing, I've literally owned for about two years. This is Versace as well with that little logo right there. And really there is no tarnishing whatsoever. It's a wonderful piece to wear for casual luxury jewelry. I'll definitely link the earrings as well as the bracelet in the description box below. I greatly thank everybody that has subscribed to my channel and to everybody that is new or perhaps you've seen me and thought to yourself, well, maybe one day I'll subscribe. Well, today could be the day. <laughs> And I kindly invite you to do so by clicking on that subscribe button you see located right down there below on your screen. Also by clicking that notification bell, you'll be notified every time I upload a video. So let's jump right into these unboxings because really I just cannot wait to store them and I cannot wait to use them. The first one, you guys might have an inclination based on the thumbnail of this video. It comes in this beautiful Louis Vuitton box. So let me go ahead and pull her out of the box. Here is the dust bag and you guys, I literally did have very high expectations for this bag. At the same time, I didn't know what to expect. When I received it today, I was just really mind blown by it, especially when I tried it on. So let me go ahead and present to you guys what I'm so happy to say I am the owner of. This beautiful, oh my gosh, here she is. She's coming out. <laughs> so, so pretty, so, so beautiful, so, so mine, <laughs> I must say. Gorgeous uh, Louis Vuitton carry-all in the size PM. You guys, I have to quickly mention that there is another YouTuber that wanted this bag as much as me. She is so wonderful. She is so nice and I'm pretty sure she got this bag and she's going to be doing an unboxing on it. I highly recommend you guys checking her out. Her YouTube channel is linked within the description box below. Candy's love for LV. When I meet people with such kind hearts, I really believe they deserve support. And you guys, she literally has the most Louis Vuitton eye candy you will ever see. She owns so many beautiful bags. She also has the kindest heart. That's why I urge you guys to go check out her channel. She's absolutely wonderful. You definitely won't regret it. She's so nice. She does giveaways quite often, very giving spirit. So please check out her channel. So the question I have in my mind is, where do I start on how wonderful this bag is and the pros of why you might want to consider getting it? Please excuse the lighting that is coming in. It's not bothering me. I hope it's not bothering you guys. So anyways, I'll start off with the overall look of this bag. When I see it, it really reminds me of a never full meets a graceful slash delightful, truly. But the advantage this bag will give you in comparison to the never full, graceful, delightful is the fact that this strap is very, very, very sturdy on the shoulder. I tried it on this morning. I walked around for about five minutes and it was just very adhered to my shoulder. As a lot of you guys know, the never full, one of the straps just tends to fall off the shoulder. I don't know why that is, but it's that way. Also, I did own the Delightful at one time and it always came off my shoulder. I can't speak on the Graceful because I don't own that bag. So yes, this strap is absolutely wonderful. It will stay on your shoulder. Another huge thing that I love about this bag is the pre-aged leather. In my experience with pre-aged leather, it pretty much stays the same color. The only reason it would get darker in patina is if you were to expose it to a lot, a lot, and I do mean a lot of sun. So it does pretty much stay the same color. Another pro of this bag, and it just comes to my mind as I'm feeling it, the texture of the canvas. 
is extremely soft and just amazing. I love that because I feel that down the line, I'm not going to experience any type of creasing with this bag. Literally, it is just so, so soft and I absolutely adore it. Another pro to this bag, let's just keep it going. The feet, oh my gosh, that's a huge perk. That's a huge upgrade in my opinion. Whenever you guys may be out to dinner, restaurant, Starbucks, something of that nature, and you wanna sit your bag down and you don't have anywhere to set it, it's wonderful to have the feet on the bottom to protect the canvas. Well, I could say getting into the bag is very, very easy, and it's very, very different and unique, I must say. So as you guys can see, there is a little tie right there, and the way you get into the bag is by using a magnetic type button. Very, very easy. And when you open the bag up, you don't need to take that tie out because you can easily access your items without removing the tie. You guys can see, I think you can, that this is a microfiber texture. I am loving the color, absolutely beautiful. I really like that it's not textile, I gotta be honest. <laughs> and you guys can see at the bottom right there, this bag does come with a pouch which is very, very cute. I like it as a catch-all for this bag or to be used on its own. Absolutely adorable. I do own other bags, quite a few I say humbly, that have the microfiber, but I think because this canvas is so squishy, it just makes the interior fiber that much softer on the hands. So what I wanna do for you guys is detach this pouch very quickly, and I wanna do a side-by-side -side comparison to the Neverfull pouch. And let me go ahead and show you guys how this does close so very easily with this magnetic closure. It's just a little pop right there. And then you have your bag back into the original shape that it is with the cute little tie, such a cute accent. So before I go ahead and show you guys a more in-depth look on this wonderful pouch, let me show you some mod shots of this bag. All right, you guys, here is this beautiful carry-all PM. Oh my gosh, I cannot say enough. Yes, I am five foot eight inches in height, weigh about 135 pounds, and this is what it looks like over the shoulder. I am absolutely in love. When I took it out of the box, I really didn't know what to expect. I liked it, but when I tried it on, I was just in love. So here she is in all her glory. And I do have this on the third setting with the strap. It can obviously go much longer, and I will show you guys what it does look as a crossbody. Gotta reiterate though, I am loving this as an over the shoulder bag. So if I wanted to, I can make it shorter if I wanted to I can make it longer but let me go ahead and show you guys what it looks like crossbody and here she is as a crossbody for me personally I don't find it to be a bad length where it hits but I feel that the bag is a little bit too big to be worn crossbody. Again, that's just my opinion. I think it's still very beautiful. I'm not against it. It's just for me personally, like I said, you guys, I'm really into the over the shoulder look. So again, I'll show you one more time because I'm so obsessed with the way it looks, how it looks over the shoulder. Actually, I'll just leave it on this setting and show you guys what it looks like at a much longer length. So here we have it as a much long, you know what? I really like that. <laughs> I think I like it more than the way I tried it on before. So even though for me, I don't want to wear it as a cross body bag, I like the versatility that I can wear this over the shoulder at different lengths. And you also have extra versatility if you wanted to, to shorten the strap and wear it on the crook of your arm. This bag offers a lot of versatility and if you do like it cross body style, you get even more. So, oh my gosh, you guys, one more look. She's so, so pretty. I'm obsessed. This might be the best bag I've received well since the Speedy 20. I love that bag as well. And everybody's different. I don't think it looks bad as a crossbody, but just I know my style and I know I'm going to be wearing it a lot over the shoulder. And please excuse this top. It is a little bit more on the fancy side, but you guys can imagine just wearing with a cute t-shirt or just anything casual, how adorable this bag is. And it even does work with this top if I wanted to wear it like that. But yes, you guys, it's amazing. So let me go ahead and quickly show you the differences between the pouches it's quite noticeable obviously this is the pouch that comes with the carry all PM this is the pouch I chose what came with my never full right there I just picked it out the never full pouch so you guys can see there is quite a bit of difference between the sizes 
Here we have the side angle, which is pretty much the same. But the Neverfull pouch definitely has more height to it as it does length, so you'll be able to fit a little bit more inside. However, I'm very, very impressed with this little pouch. And a lot of you guys are probably familiar with the interior to these Neverfull pouches. They are textile lining. It's different in this situation. You have the beautiful microfiber. There is a tissue right here. Microfiber lining on the inside. Oh, and I did forget to tell you guys where the bag is made. In this case, it was Italy, which is very, very special to me. I really could not have asked for anything more with this piece because as a lot of you guys know, my dad passed away. He was Italian. So whenever I get pieces that are made in Italy, especially with Louis Vuitton, because there's other brands like Gucci, YSL, I think Prada, where all of their bags are made in Italy. But with Louis Vuitton, it's a little bit different because bags are made in USA, France, Spain, or Italy. So in this case, it is Italy. And on the back, I thought this was actually quite interesting. I checked out the interior to see where it was made and I looked, but it wasn't too hard to find, I must admit. And yes, you guys, right here is where it's gonna say where the bag is made. And again, it is Italy. And again, it makes the bag so very special. I wanna do a quick what's in my bag as to what fits in here in case any of you guys are interested in this wonderful piece. Gosh, Mr. Sunshine really wants to be my friend today. <laughs> okay, so I did bring some items just to give you an idea as to what could fit. If you are familiar with the cosmetic pouch GM, then you know it is a very large piece. I was asking myself, will it fit in this bag? And the answer is a simple yes. And I'll go ahead and show you guys what that looks like. It fits in very easily. I did get a few SLGs out here, you guys, so I'll go ahead and add my toiletry 15. I will add my mini pochette. I will add my Victorine wallet. I will add my sunglass case holder. And I left my four key holder downstairs, but that's okay. Let's see how this fits. So I'll show you the interior. I think it fits perfectly fine and I know there's room for more. So let me get this closed up. Do any of you think to yourself, hmm, wow, there must be some weight in there. Why isn't it sagging? And that is a wonderful question and a wonderful answer that's given to you right at the same time. It doesn't sag. How wonderful is that? I mean, really, with the Neverfull, they always sag. With the Speedies, they always sag. Something was done with the construction of this bag, how they architected this bag, to make sure that you could put in items, because I would say this probably weighs about three to four pounds. And as you guys can see, the bottom is just not caving in at all. So that's a wonderful thing. Looks beautiful all the way around. It could fit a lot more inside. Very impressed. And this luggage tag right here, you guys, oh, it's just so cute. And you know what I love about it even more is the fact that it's detachable. I'll love to use it, but it's also very nice to have the option to not have a luggage tag, or if you would like, perhaps, you would like to take off that luggage tag and put on a beautiful charm instead. I'm a big fan of charms, you guys. They just elevate bags in such a beautiful way. Just look at that, I love it. So I can't wait to change the look of this bag by using different charms. It's absolutely beautiful. And I wanted to do, real quick, a side-by-side -side comparison of the Neverfull MM in comparison to this Carryall PM, because I think some of you guys may be interested in this bag if I'm not wrong. So here we have my Neverfull MM. So let me give you guys a better look. I was really thinking that this Carryall PM would have the dimensions of more of a Neverfull MM, but really it's almost like a cross between the PM and the MM. So this is the MM size, and obviously you guys can tell that there is a considerable difference, like the pouch, in the height. There's also a little bit of a difference with the length of these bags, not too much that I'm seeing. So really, you can fit so much in this carry-all PM. I'll go ahead and put my beautiful Neverfull MM back right here. I do love that bag so very much. But yes, you guys, I have found my new obsession, my new bag that I'm just 
over the moon for, what can I say? <laughs> Put me in the best mood ever. All I can say is this bag is going to get a lot of use. I'm so happy that Louis Vuitton constructed and made a beautiful, gorgeous monogram bag. It's been a little bit of a while since Louis Vuitton has released something like this. But I do have to say there is a unicorn that wants to fly into this room right now and let herself be known to you. So I'll set this carryall to the side right now. Ugh, I adore this thing so very much. I don't even want to set it down. But let's get into the next unboxing. Let's let the unicorn fly in. So the unicorn that flew in is a little bit big. I'm not going to lie. She's a big unicorn. And she comes in this big Louis Vuitton box. New release item, you guys. Any ideas? And pulling her out of the box, let me go ahead and show you guys the dust bag she comes in. I'm just gonna go ahead and introduce her because she's very antsy to make herself known and I can't wait to display her, I gotta tell ya. Oh my gosh, you guys, the best item I can use to describe this piece is whatever Beyond Gorgeous is. I don't know what adjective that is. But here she is in all her, yes, she did it. She just wants to be known to you guys. So, so pretty. I do believe this is the Sunrise Pastel. Oh my gosh, you guys, when I look at this, I can't believe I have it. It's really just such a miracle to me. But yes, this beautiful from the Spring in the City collection, Sunrise Pastel Key Ball Bandolier 45. What can I say? She's so, so pretty. You know, with the Spring in the City collection, I humbly say I got quite a few items. I got those two Speedy 20s, I got the Alma BB and the Demi Resort, and I got quite a bit in the Midnight Fuchsia colorway. However, I did not get anything in this Sunrise Pastel colorway, which is absolutely gorgeous. When I found out I was able to get this, I couldn't believe it. So a lot of you guys are familiar with this beautiful colorway. Just look at these handles, you guys, the ombre effect that they put, the detail that they put into these handles. Even the little closure has this ombre effect with this pink going into the mint. And the strap as well, you guys, the ombre effect goes on. You can see where it goes into that mint right there. Absolutely beautiful. I really appreciated that the store sent this bag to me stuffed. I'll go ahead and show you what the interior looks like, but I'll point out the fact that this does come with the very, very shiny hardware, which I really appreciate. And I really don't know why all classic speedies and all classic key balls don't come with the upgraded hardware because with this hardware, it will not tarnish. It stays absolutely beautiful. So let me go ahead and get into this bag. And how pretty is this? I've seen interiors like this with this colorway. I just haven't seen so much of an interior. And did you guys notice the luggage tag? I need to get this hot stamped with my initial. Getting my initial hot stamped in gold will really just bring out the gold accents in the bag and make it look that much better. Not that it can look really much better, but maybe just a little. And you guys, I give Louis Vuitton so much credit with the Spring in the City collection with these beautiful icons, how they stand out so beautifully and they're just so very iridescent in the light. It's just amazing to me. So yes, this interior is quite big and it is quite beautiful. You guys can see a D ring right there. I didn't even know that till I just looked at it. <laughs> and a very roomy pocket. This piece was made in France. I'm not sure if you guys can see, but it was. So yes, you guys, this bag really was a dream come true to me. And I'll note real quick too, I love the bigger icons on the front and these smaller icons on the side. While I'm putting the stuffing back in, I'll just go ahead and ask you guys, do you name your bags? Because I know a lot of people do. Really, the only two bags that I've named are this and this Speedy right here. I call this Speedy my Barbie Speedy because of the colors, and I call this Keep Ball my Cali Keep Ball, C-A-L-I, because I live in California, and I'll be doing a lot of travel with in the state. Although I have to admit, I love it so very much that I'm going to Las Vegas for my birthday next month. And this is coming along with me and I'll be watching it like a hawk. And yeah, you guys, with naming the bags, it's interesting because this bag was a miracle bag. That bag was a miracle bag. 
And the names just came to them. All my other bags, it's hard to name them, but they just came very easily. So yeah, when I got this one, I'm like, this is gonna be used within California, so it only makes sense for it to be called my Cali Keep All. So I'm so excited, you guys. Honestly, this is the best unboxing I've ever done on my channel. This means so very much to me as does this gorgeous bag. I feel extremely blessed. I feel extremely fortunate and very, very humbled. And while I say I feel humbled, I just want to say thank you guys so very much for taking the time to watch me unbox these items because they do mean so very much to me. I told you that this bag being made in Italy just adds so much more sentimental value to the piece. And this keep all just really meant the world to me to be able to get. I thought I had no chance. I mean, just look at this gorgeous piece. It's so amazing. It's just so beautiful means so very much to me so yes you guys i feel very humbled that i was able to get both of these bags again the very best unboxing i've ever done on my channel because these bags are so very special and so very meaningful to me so if you guys do have any comments or questions anything i didn't go over with this carry all pm please be sure to leave that in the comment section below as well as if you guys happen to have any comments or questions on this beautiful keep ball that i acquired please do leave those in the comment section below I know I say it all the time, it is what it is, it goes with my videos, but it's true. <laughs> I love hearing from you. All right, you guys, now's the time within the video where I'm going to completely transition topics from speaking about luxury to speaking about something that's definitely more insightful, meaningful, and inspirational. Today, I'd like to go over the very important topic of becoming the very best you. When we truly work on becoming the very best versions of ourselves, we will find that our minds are gonna be in a better place. We're gonna see the world differently. We're gonna be more positive people. And when we think like that, our entire world changes. We all deserve to have peace of mind. I've said many times within my channel that peace of mind your peace of mind should always be your number one priority. That's really the way you're going to be the best blessing to others in your life. When you have peace, you don't have anger. When you have peace, there is no strife. When you have peace, you don't have worry. When you have peace, you have happiness. So when you work on becoming the very best version of yourself that you could possibly be, you're really working on becoming the happiest person you could possibly be. I'm sure you guys can think of different goals or dreams that have been set in your heart by God, but perhaps you've been dissuaded by distractions. Distractions are just not a good thing. What they do is they keep you off course. They keep you off course from fulfilling your dreams, your goals. They also keep you off course from becoming the very best version of yourself that you can be. Distractions can come in the form of getting worried or upset about a situation that you have no control over. Also just having negative tendencies within the spirit. Perhaps having a jealous spirit. Perhaps having an angry spirit. These are not spirits that we want living within us <laughs> because they're not gonna help us reach the ultimate goal, which is to be the happiest, best versions of ourselves. When we live a life striving to put God on the throne at all times, blessings truly will chase us down. We should all be evolving. We should not be in the same place when it comes to empathy, forgiveness, kindness, having a giving spirit, all of those wonderful traits. We should not be in the same place one week, five months, 10 years, 20 plus years down the road than we are today. We should constantly be getting better at being a better person. There's such a strong link between being a very good version of yourself and being peaceful within your spirit. I think the peace that you feel is the approval of God. And when you feel the approval of God, it really makes it that much easier to handle whatever comes at us throughout life, the negative situations that we have no control over. God has an anointing on your life. You just need to receive it. And when you do, the blessings, the favor, the doors that will open up will amaze you in tremendous ways. 
And when we do work on the things that we need to work on, we're never going to be perfect. We just strive to get better and better. But we will find that our minds are at peace. And what does that equal? Happiness in the mind, which is exactly what God wants for you. And although we work on being the very best versions of ourselves that we can be, it's important to know, you guys know this, there is no such thing as perfection. We are not God, we are not Jesus Christ, and we can only strive to be like him. But in reality, we'll never be perfect people. But while we're here enjoying this right of life, it's very important to work on ourselves so we can have better quality lives, better quality relationships, and most importantly, have that very, very strong relationship with God. So if we actually think about all the things within our personality that we can work on that's kind of negative, that needs to be positive, and actually work on that and it gets better, we will find in due time, guaranteed, we will become a better version of ourselves. So that is what I have to say on the topic of becoming a better you. If you guys happen to have any comments or questions on the topic I went over and or any comments or questions on, oh my gosh, the very best Louis Vuitton unboxing haul I've ever done on my channel. I still cannot believe I have that beautiful carry all PM. I forgot about that while I was talking. Also that gorgeous keep all 45 bandolier and that gorgeous sunrise pastel from the spring in the city collection please leave any comments or questions in the comment section below greatly appreciated if you didn't make it to the end of this video i greatly thank you until my next which is going to be my bag collection video very excited about that you guys take care i look forward to seeing you very very soon bye